sunshines! Good evening! So I'm actually filming this video right before I'm about to put it up. I'm not gonna lie to you, there have been a lot of trips and then a sudden surprise trip that I didn't know was happening for our engagement move that Emily surprised me with. So I have been desperately trying to get back on track with filming and uploading my videos. Usually I film quite a few videos in a day and I edit them all at once so I can have them ready to go for you guys and I'm not gonna lie, this summer has been a little bit of a struggle, uh, but I'm getting back on track. Today I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys the books that I read in the month of July. I know it's a little bit late, but I wanted to film it nonetheless before I film my August Penguin video, which will be coming to you shortly. I have quite a few book videos planned in sort of a thematic sense, if you will, and I'm kind of excited about that as we move out of summer and into fall, but don't worry, we're not completely out of summer yet because it is still August. There's definitely a lot of summer left. I just wanted to give you kind of a teaser that I have some fun autumn videos coming your way when that time is upon us. But today, let's focus on today. So I will share with you the books that I finished or didn't finish in the month of July. Okay, so this first book, I can't recall if I shared this with you guys yet or not, is Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. This was on my TBR, so I'm really glad that I was able to check it off. It was fascinating. It was a mystery book. Not so much a thriller, but there were thrilling senses about it. It's about this girl whose family and basically everyone she loves is killed in a cruise ship accident. And she's the only one who survives and kind of her coping mechanisms and her quest for revenge. It was very interesting. I enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it. It has a few twists that are unexpected. Another book that I read in the month of July is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This book I really enjoyed. I really liked the dynamic between the Song sisters. Um, I thought that it was very realistic. They fought a lot. Their dad was really oblivious. Um, I, I did like the writing of the family. Not sure if everybody feels that way, but I did enjoy it. I thought it was definitely a fun, light-hearted, contemporary young adult romance book. Was it the best thing I've ever read? No, was it well, like super well written? No, but I think that the characters were well rounded. They had a lot of faults. Han was confident in writing these faults. So I thought that even though the characters maybe weren't the type of people who I would personally hang out with, I did enjoy it and I'm currently working on P.S. I Still Love You. I'm making slow, slow, slow progress though because there has not been much time for reading. <laughs> even though it happened this month, I wanted to do a quick booktubeathon wrap up for you guys because I did read a bunch of books during the booktubeathon and I know that it's August but I'm just gonna do this and then we'll see what else I read this month. A book that I started because of the booktubeathon, uh, once again I started it, is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's no secret that I have not yet read the Harry Potter books. I am currently working on it. I have started the Sorcerer's Stone. I think this is my third time officially starting it. I'm going to finish it. I'm really, really excited. Reading Harry Potter for the first time as an adult is just as magical as reading it, I think, as they were coming out. I mean, that experience that all of you Harry Potter fans who read the books as they were coming out, that's an incredible experience that I will never be able to even relate to, right? Um, a little bit maybe because there have been book series I've read as they've come out that I've really, really enjoyed and been totally wrapped up in. But that magic is its own set of magic and getting to read it now through my eyes as I am now and just appreciating it, I appreciate it so much and I'm really really excited to finish. I can't wait to meet the characters as they were truly imagined. Not that the movies maybe do them injustice and I know that there are lots of different opinions on how the movies interpreted Harry Potter but I am definitely excited to meet the characters as they were imagined and kind of get my own perspectives on some of the opinions that Harry Potter fans have about relationships and how things went and stuff like that. So. I'm excited and I'm really enjoying it. Another book that I read during the Booktubeathon is Lovely, The Ladies of Animation. And this book features the art of six incredible women artists who all at one point or currently animate and draw illustrations and inspiration images and uh, reference images, etc. for Disney Animation Studios. And it has a forward by John Lasseter, which is really, really special. And I actually had the pleasure of purchasing this book at Brittany Lee's booth 
at uh, either Emerald City or something like that, one of the cons this summer. And so Brittany Lee and Victoria both assigned it to me, which is super, super sweet. Um, it's just beautiful. You get to see sort of an inside peek into some of their art and some of their inspiration and they speak to you about their piece and their the way that they work and it's just really really special. This is a book that I've got in my special Disney book stack on a special bookshelf and I just treasure it and I can't wait to just read it over and over again and just enjoy their art over and over again. Also partly for Booktubeathon and partly just because I want to get them back to my friend who lent them to me, I have been reading um, Yotsuba! <laughs> So this month, or last month I guess rather, and this month in July and August, I finished volume 3, 4, and 5. They're super lighthearted, super fun. Yatsuba is a crazy little 5-year-old, 6-year-old, I think she's 6 now, who just is completely full of life. I was talking to a friend who also reads the Yatsuba mangas and um, he likens her to the Japanese version of Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes and I could not agree more. She is spunky, spirited, um, has such a unique perspective on life and she's just super fun and pours all of who she is into everything that she does and she's so passionate and incredibly incredibly adorable. Now this book I also finished for the booktubeathon but I'm just gonna include it so we can get it out of the way and that is Survive the Night by Danielle Vega. Most of you probably watched my kind of Seattle day video where I brought you along on this journey of reading Survive the Night with me so I don't need to say too much more and honestly I don't know if I will do a review. That seems like a lot of energy that I just don't want to pour into this book, but this book was horrible. This book was horrid, horrific, tremendously awful. I genuinely didn't think that anything could be worse than The Merciless, but my own naivete. This book was so bad. It's, I think it is the worst book I have ever read in my life, and I really really truly cannot wrap my head around how something like this has gotten published. The peer pressure in this book, the perspectives are completely skewed, the main character is struggling from a drug addiction, the friend, one of her friends, spikes her drink, kind of berates her about how she was asking for it, she should loosen up, things like this. Incredibly inappropriate, incredibly not okay. All the while, this other character is not painted as a bad guy. These situations are not painted in a light that makes it completely obvious that these things and these peer pressures and these things that she's telling this other girl are completely not okay. Driving 95 miles an hour and the girl is like scared to put her seatbelt on because it won't look cool and like that's not painted as like a not okay thing. It's just, it boggles my mind. These habits that um, are just, I guess, kind of praised as it were as being cool or I, it just, oh my gosh, I wanted to vomit. It was so, so bad. So don't read it. I only rated it one star on Goodreads because I couldn't rate it minus five. I couldn't rate it less than one. So that's my thoughts on Survive the Night. It was awful and it could have been really cool. There were so many ways that it could have been really cool, but it was not. It was so not. There will be a link down below to the video that Jen and Christina and I sort of filmed together of our reading of this book. So if you are curious, be sure to check that out. But yes, so bad. <sighs> I am so sleepy right now. Okay, so that is the end of the books that I read in July slash the beginning of August. Like I said, there will be another Penguin book haul coming shortly. Um, they're sending me a ton of books this month, like so many, so many, so many books that I am so, 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 so excited about. There are a lot of uh, thriller, Halloween-y type books that are coming out in the next couple of months, so I'm really excited about those books and I can't wait to share them with you. Meanwhile, I have a ton of books that I need to get through just so I can share them with you guys and, you know, tell you what I think of them. Um, I look, hopefully, look forward to doing that very, very soon. I'm going to be getting back on track with a video making schedule, so please stay tuned because I am going to be coming back with a force. Tomorrow, I am going to the Renaissance Fair with Christina and Jen and Joe and a bunch of awesome people. I think Justin's coming. I'm going to run into one of my friends, Julie, there, and probably quite a few other people, so if you happen to be at the Renaissance Fair in the state of Washington tomorrow, 
do say hello because we will be there. I will be dressed up. I borrowed a few pieces from Christina and I'm going to be putting a few of my own pieces together as well, so I'm really excited about that. Also, in other news, I will be at Vlogger Fair this year. I will only be there on Saturday, the 22nd, but I will be there nonetheless. Christina and I are actually hosting a book swap, which is super exciting. If you guys haven't been a part of a book swap, they're really fun and it's a good way to trade a book that maybe you've already read and pick up another book that maybe you're curious about. So the way that this book swap is going to work is it's going to be a blind book swap. So what that means is bring a single book wrapped with a few clues about the book written on the outside or on a postie or something just so that we can all kind of get an idea of what's out there or maybe an idea of what we think might be out there. Christina and I will be hosting this book swap in the meet and greet area three I believe at Vlogger Fair subject to change I'm sure at 12:30 in the afternoon on Saturday August 22nd so that's not tomorrow but next week I do hope you guys can make it um, there should be a discount code if you guys are interested in coming because you'll be participating in the book swap I will leave all of that information down below as I receive it as well I'll be tweeting it out so be sure to watch for that I might not have all of that info when this video goes live but I will be sure to get it to you as soon as I possibly can I really really hope you guys can make it we're hoping for a pretty big turnout so that we can swap lots and lots of books. I think that's all about all of that. Those are the books I read in July and the beginning of August. Be sure to stay tuned for my Penguin haul coming soon-ish. And I've got a couple more Disney videos planned and up my sleeve. I just have to film them. Okay, that's my long video. I should stop talking because I'm starting to ramble, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. And I hope to see you all at Vlogger Fair. Come see me and Christina. Bye! And books, of course. So the book I will be reading to complete this challenge is lovely. It's something we could eat with one hand because I think the next plan is get in pajamas.